Is this the sound effect that I think it is? I'm learning! <laughs> yeah, it's still there. <laughs> I don't know if we'll have much opportunity for that with this game, given their track record of, uh, you know, puzzle solving. But we'll see. <laughs> What's up, Freak Eclipse? How you doing? So, a couple things I feel like mentioning. Thing one, I got a new monitor. It's uh, one of those fancy ultra-wide ones. I can't show you, uh, obviously, at least uh, <laughs> not readily, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty nice. I like it a lot. It's really cool. Hey, let's have Shady back to Norse mythology again. Yes, indeed we are. The whole time that I get... Back to the old PC or whatever. No, it's just been there the whole time. <laughs> Still haven't been able to get the old PC back. Haven't tried in a little bit, but... Uh, maybe I'll have a chance this Saturday. Who knows? But as a result of the new monitor... I just have the game and the chat just displaying on the same screen instead of having to look over to the left. It's over here now, which is nice. Uh, no weekend streams yet, right? Uh, now that you mention it? Yes, there is going to be one this weekend. Good news for, for all involved. Weekend stream. We uh, talked about it. We're planning it out. There will be a weekend stream. So yes, Blenda is back. Again. <laughs> Finally. At the very least, we, we still want to have them at least once a month if we can get that to work. And uh, there will be one this month. So mark your calendar. Now, where's my remote? Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> Her grand return, again. Oh, hey, Dan. Uh, did Bed of Chaos for the first time? Somehow did it in one try. Really? One try on the first time. That is nuts. I cannot even fathom that. Hey, what's with those weird little monkey dudes down there? Just snipe that one right in the face. Clearly it's an enemy, otherwise it wouldn't let me hit it. Oh, wait, there it goes. And he just killed himself. Nice. <laughs> Rather than getting shot, he just jumped away. As it would happen. Lovely. Well, last we left off, Kratos uh, feasted his eyes upon the great wall built around the border of Asgard. Uh, it doesn't look too fancy, but, you know, it gets the job done. <laughs> it's not exactly uh, of the finest construction, but, hey, a wall only needs to do one thing. Be a wall. That's all it cares about. That's true. We know what stream to use that one monkey for. Yes, if I can track down the screenshot of him. <laughs> I know which one you mean. Not even the rain strategy. Ran to each hand the silver knight shield protect. The second hand almost died twice, getting smacked by fire, but survived, walked off the branch, killed the witch. Wow. That is actually crazy, because it's like, oftentimes I just died to the holes opening up in the ground. Or, you know, just getting swept into them by the giant hands, but doing it in one shot is a feat, indeed. It's unusual to see me not looking in a different direction for the chat. I, I know. It's gonna take some adjusting. Oh, gosh! What's with the ultra instinct on this guy? Freaking dodging like that. Up against the wall! Come on! Your friends aren't gonna save you. They're gonna want to, but they can't. Up. Ow. Oh. Gotta remember my moves! Okay, that works pretty well. Whoa! 
forgot they could do that. Okay. They can't do much. I don't know how I forgot that they could do that. Okay, that was pretty sick. I thought you said I was welcome in Asgard. <laughs> yeah, no need to send your Gatoids to attack me. Hoo-ya! Hoo-ya! Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh, look! It's Herman. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, typical behavior indeed. his face and sponge up. Oh, that was bubble bass. If only it was. Uh, there's lizards everywhere. Bubble bass. <laughs> Come and get it. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> what you gonna do? Nothing. Oh, I took him in half with an arrow. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, you better run. Probably further, I would say, but... Hmm. Huh. Okay. It's beautiful here. Not a sign of Fimble Winter. Hmm. Need to remember this fight for later on the video because I saw something worth bringing up later on. Ah, okay. Better keep heading towards the wall. Keep that in mind. I knew that Seath was supposed to be the easiest one. I died to Seath once because I kept getting sent flying from the crystal. Uh, hey. I know how that is. Sometimes I can do the hardest things really easy, and then the really easy things just mess with me. Been there. Man, seriously, this ultra wide this ultra wide display is pretty nice. You could have led me around those. Who? You talking to me? Or are you talking to Odin? <laughs> it's like uh and uh, I got this just in time for Bethesda to announce the frickin' uh Fallout 4 next gen update, which will have ultra wide support, so that's pretty cool. Dark Souls just like that. Be captured doing practically first try. Stop damage on the first run. <laughs> right, right. I even I had trouble with him if I remember correctly. In my two playthroughs of Dark Souls 3, excuse me, Dark Souls 1 that I've ever had. I've had many more of Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Seven times the demon fire sage. <laughs> I can't recall if Demon Fire Sage gave me too much trouble. Probably, I think I died at least once or twice. Okay, where is he? There he is. I'll try to get him out of the sky. Yeep! Come on, Bubble Bass! That's all you got! I find that interesting that this game's, like, grunt enemy that you fight a bunch of is these gadoity lizard guys. Works for me. How long till the game is over? Do I know? Nope. But it's gonna be a while. <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea of when the game will be over. Oh snap. Yeah! Danger! I know! <laughs> ah. I see him! I see, the crow's trying to lead us around. Wait, that's right, they're invincible. Okay. Yep. Take out your pillar, though. There we go. No more of you, weirdos. Uh, yeah, no more. They're gone. And I watched Aliens for the first time. That was neat. And that's where I stopped with the Aliens franchise. <laughs> yeah, that's where I stopped, too. In, like, 2015 or something, I watched Alien and then watched Aliens. And was like, wow, that was really good. And then I didn't watch the other ones. <laughs> I mean, played the game or seen a complete playthrough, but I can probably approximate. 
don't consider that a spoiler. Hmm. I mean, it, it might not necessarily be a spoiler. I wouldn't know. From what I can tell, they usually try to be fairly faithful for the most part with stuff, but, uh... I think some approximations might be nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah these guys... I know they're called the Grim or something like that. So we had the the Hollow Knight one in that thumbnail. And bye. Well, this might be the craziest thing I've ever done, but if that's what it takes to change Father's fate, uh, let's watch the Dead Meat and other reviews of the other Alien movies. Ah, I should watch those hey, then. Bird, where'd you go? We are doing Valhalla as well. That's the thing. Hold on, I'm coming. She's got to find a way through. Mm -hmm. I, for one, know that Smiling Friends Season 2 is off to a good start. Because I've watched one of the episodes. Which is interesting, because I didn't watch any of Smiling Friends Season 1. I just kind of... There you are! Like, observed as everyone was talking about it. I'm coming. And then that freaking Gwimbley episode came out. And I saw the clips everywhere. So I said, you know what? I'm going to watch this episode. And then I watched it, and then I realized I had seen the entire episode in clip form already. <laughs> just unintentionally. But hey, it was uh, a good episode. All right. I came to be your Makes me want to watch more of it, honestly. I guess. But it doesn't mean <laughs> I like serve you now. You're gonna Not really be his apprentice, Atreus. Kind of <laughs> that would only happen after Kratos dies, so <laughs> sequel to Friends. Uh, the Wild Hunt in North and Eastern European mythology is a bastardization of Odin. And is a... Uh, how do you say it? <laughs> I can't say it. It's a bastardization of that, huh? Fascinating. I mean, I'm gonna kill some bird dog things. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna explode! It's that coming. You know what sucks? We're getting into like the spring season, so it's getting a little warmer. My office is just getting slightly uncomfortably warm. And it's like we're at that point where it's technically not warm enough to turn the AC on, but it's warmer in my office than everywhere else, so it gets slightly uncomfortable. It sucks. Don't even try it, pal. Let it stay from the other side of that wall. Wait. And ironically, best Western cartoon wall? to come out in recent years. Not even joking. Hmm. Story about <laughs> Everything. Stone Mason's son built a flaw into it. Only told Frey about I've been it. watching Invincible. I, I think that ask. one's pretty good. Hold on. <laughs> How was Frey at the house? Did she move in with us? <laughs> you know what? Focus, Loki. Just questioning that now. Okay, we got a right path, and we got a left path that involves climbing. Mm. Options. Gotta keep moving forward. <laughs> Invincible is fine. Wall. I think it's actually pretty dang good. Ah, uh, all right. Time to climb. Okay, this looks like the not required way, so let's just check it out. Although the crow is leading me here, so maybe it is required. Okay, it is required. I just I can't get this. We need fire, and we don't have that. No blades of chaos for us. Oh, most adult comedy cartoons generally suck, so. <laughs> Especially ones that have been on for a long time.
Wait, that was where... Did I crawl through there initially? I did that to myself again. Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, the, the timing. I, I thought you were responding to me, but it was to him. <laughs> I, I got you. We, we were just both on the same wavelength, and I didn't realize it. Like, both of our responses were basically that Invincible was fine. <laughs> oh yeah, and then there's Arcane. Arcane was, was good, too. Quite good. They're still working on that, right? Hmm. Oh, hey. Father would just burn this away with his blades. <laughs> But what can I do? But what can I do? <laughs> Solid huh. question, Atreus. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Brock say? That's right, we have that new sigil magic on there. If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. Mm, that's right. Alka. Trying to hit the fire. No. Nope. I didn't there expect that to work, but it did. <laughs> okay, that means that's how we get the chest then. Only problem will be she hitting the far. I wouldn't judge by my gameplay, but... <laughs> right, right. Because it is still technically a cartoon, it's just 3D animated. Lousy and impervious bench. Asgardian craftsmanship. No. Ugh, why is it hitting there? Come okay, on. Stop. I can't. I'm aiming way above it. Why is it hitting the stupid rock? Okay. I think all I really have to do is just go from here and just hit like that. Gonna need a better angle on that. Oh, I already burned away by accident. <laughs> I didn't even look! Ah. Uh, well. Okay. Splintered sigil. That ricochets between enemies. Ooh. That's the slowed on time one, and this is the sigil arrow that bounces between foes. Try that one. <laughs> Teach their own, Dan. As someone who has now played the original God of War games, it's it is a, it's a totally different thing. Wait. That sounds like people. <laughs> yes, I'm a normie now. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Well, haven't been here before, oh. so... Uh, I'm just Finally, an actual place with normal people who aren't just running away from us. See this way, except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. 
<laughs> nope. <laughs> Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Oh, hey. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? Mm. Yep. So you're not as guardians. Yeah. All father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. Do you you don't know magic? Yeah, do that's you? a fair point, Herman. Because it is definitely yeah. not. What? No shit. You, you walk through the... walls. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, it's it's not the OG God of War. Obviously not. Could and not it was meant to end over? after the third one. Although they left it open that's for more games here. potentially by showing that Kratos survived uh, sacrificing himself. Died? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? Yeah, um, sort of. We sort met, of you know. Apprentice. No, you're not. <laughs> shit, what is he teaching you? No, I don't know yet. <laughs> How many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I know literally nothing. I can't tell I'm you, bro. Go that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, <laughs> but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may Good owe question. Him my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Was that Hugin? Is I mean, Hugin I'm not sure if a lot of the characters Hugin? in God of, in the original Hugin's game sounded like, you know, from <laughs> Hugin and you know, Greek people from, <laughs> from that era necessarily. I'm sure, he'll know too much about climbing. I mean, I wouldn't know. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. Yeah, if I die, I'll just reload and come back. No biggie. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. It shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. He's been through a lot. Great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey. Why do we even need this guy? What's he... What is he accomplishing for us? I mean, he... What has he accomplished for us? Huh. And now we're just doing the old Breath of the Wild wall scaling. And yep, bridge was fine. Didn't seem too conspicuous. Maybe it'll break at some other point. Who can say? You can do it, Loki. Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Let's read our lore on him. <laughs> yeah, he said a lot of people from the desolation that he in fact caused. Quite. <laughs> Ray. Wow. There's temple. Oh, no wonder we couldn't use it to come here. Yep, it's a uh, little messed up. Could use some repairs, but pardon me, Skelly boy, I could use that. There he is. And is a bird. <laughs> Wonderful. You know what? You're actually you're absolutely right. <laughs> I mean, he's so far the only person I've seen who talks okay, like this. <laughs> I think he might be it's supposed to stand out, but I don't know. And now where? Uh. 
Because, I mean, most of the characters we've run into in in this game have been, you know, gods and things like that. And they talk hey, with that is. same air of Don't dignity to them, but to pass the time by telling a story. he's probably one of the first, yeah. like, normal people we've run across. Oh, yeah. So that's maybe that's what, what they were shooting for to make him stand out, but... What? I'm just <laughs> kind of playing devil's advocate, I guess. <laughs> hey, stop spamming me, you freaking... What the heck? Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Do it. Do it. Right, coming in. I got gotcha. you. Almost. Not quite. I'm dying here. I might need to go wolf on this guy. Let's go. Oh, you had to turn into these. Oh, we can actually damage them as the wolf. That's interesting. Magic. Magic mouth. I mean, it could happen. It's happened with other things where yeah, someone's making a I'm totally coming. different game and Let's then a big name got out. attached to it. I don't know. I th it, I don't know if it necessarily tracks. Because I think they approached this game with a lot of intent. Like, they sought out to make a new God of War game. But... If they did just randomly attach Kratos to it, it would have been a perfect fit because it's not too out of place at all. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. <laughs> sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? And I mean, there's... I don't know. There's There would be a lot of conflicting points in the story that just wouldn't add up anymore. Yes. I guess not a lot, but a couple. Breathe, and... Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. I mean, the most famous, or I guess infamous, example of one game turning completely into another was, uh... With, like, Star Fox Adventures or whatever on GameCube. That was uh, just a completely different game that Miyamoto was through. like, Eh, you guys should make it Star Fox. No? Have it your way. Oh, I can't even grab that item with these guys alive. He's masterfully dodging all of my moves. All three of them are still alive. Not for long. There's so many of them in here. This oh, this is getting annoying. Get me out. I friggin' hate these stupid wisp ball things. They're just annoying for no reason. It's like, yay, an enemy that's in invincible unless you hit them with a specific type of attack. Fly around and they're kind of hard to hit. So that's nice. Yeah. Ah, they've got the pillar too over there. And giving them the ability to in infinitely respawn isn't exactly fun either. <laughs> Frickin' pulling my aim away so I can't hit it. There. There's just too many of them. And kick. <laughs> These aren't a natural fit in the Star Fox lore. <laughs> Perhaps they are. I don't know. <laughs> yes, the blue fox girl. That's the one.
<laughs> that would be a little out of place. Where'd he go? Did he just freaking like teleport away so that I couldn't grab the item? That frustrates me. No wait, there's a pillar up there. They put two of them? Out of your mind. I have to take so many arrows. At least taking out the pillar kills them, so you don't have to <laughs> just mess around with actually fighting them. For luck. For, for luck? I was trying to get the health out of there. I get it. There's not many other ways to go. Hmm. Oh, this looks familiar. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Not for long. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. Do we now? Hmm. Did I still leave one of the runic arrows over there? Fascinating. Oh, can I bring it up because you're doing a Jontron marathon? Yes, and he did make a video on that. Man, I haven't done a Jontron marathon in a while. I should do that. Might work. Yeah, it might. Yeah, I tell you that goosebumps video. Mm, that was like my favorite video ever for a while. Here we go. Yep, that did it. I hate you. I hate it. Ah! <laughs> At least you can, like, juggle them around a bit after you kill them. Beep. Beep. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, I don't see their pillar anywhere. That... I can't aim low enough. I can't aim low enough. Urgh. Hey, you get to fly. I'm doing what I can. I mean, you can change into animals. Find out how to turn into a crow. And then just fly. It's never too long. Huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot. And then we can gain the ability to do dragon I've shots and stuff. Far. Or is that something else? Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Oh. Once there Goody. was a giant named Loki. That was me. I thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. Turns out it was an absolutely awful idea, but what are you going to do? <laughs> so, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Primter's wall. So, yeah, the markers are gone. So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. A lot. Wow, actually climbing without markers? What is this, a video game? Ah, there they are. Just kept climbing. 
His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. And he passed out and fell all the way back down. It's like that one game, getting over it. Foothold at a time. Never played it. All the way to the top. No Riveting gameplay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Keep going. It's like when Kratos was trying to climb out of hell, only there were no Can't obstacles. <laughs> Whoop! Come on. Batman. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. <sighs> I like climbing rocks. I probably wouldn't like climbing up all of these rocks, but... <laughs> and someone's gonna grab her hand. There it is. Hello. What's up, bro? Uh, so, you're hi. easier then. I could tell. So, for a couple of reasons. What? of the enormous wall made you think oh visitors must be welcome well the invitation from the guy who owns the place is what gave me that thought actually i was sent for actually by odin the all father sent for you <laughs> great probably not all but <clears throat> this is his training for getting out of hell out there and not in here well, ask him that, not me. Why don't we ask him together? Hmm. Ah! What, you're not gonna eat that apple? It's gonna land on someone's head. Are you finished? Finished what? <laughs> now, what could Odin, All Father, King of the Aesir, okay, uh -huh. possibly want with the likes? Again, solid question, but maybe ask him that. That's between me and Odin. You think some rando's gonna scale this entire wall and just claim that Odin called for them? <laughs> think you could pull me up? Or I mean, <sighs> no, I don't know. You're a rando too, I guess. Uh, what do you know? I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. And then deal with the All Father's wrath. Think how mad the All Father's gonna be when. When he finds out you killed Oh yeah, kids. he will murder you. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> Death Note user. Yep, he's got those eyes. The Yotha. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <laughs> that might not have been a good thing to say, Atreus. I mean the majority of your of your enemy is dead, I'm afraid. I will be the judge of that. Nah, it's it's the apple. I, I got what you're this saying, way, but Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gallerhorn? Are you Heimdall? Heimdall. Oh, okay. He's not he's not a rando then. <laughs> he, he's Heimdall, not just some random Asgardian. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders, especially giants. Yes. <laughs> Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to amaze you. <laughs> well, hey, someone leaves a bag of money on the ground, and you're just going to leave it there? That's basically like picking up a penny. Now join me on the platform, won't you? The All Only if it's heads like up, though. Waiting. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Let's not even think just about what Kratos would have done if Heimdall had just dropped him. Had <laughs> Forget what Odin would do. Next what is Kratos name? would rain I fire down upon Asgard. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably Ooh. due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. That's way too specific for a guess. That you are Disrespectful, entitled, and mm. impulsive. You're not wrong. You know at all. <laughs> I help people. Oh, 
You are here to help people. That's what he hmm. thinks. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what no, no, no. Sometime off screen, actually. You, have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. You think my suit is spiffy? I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Well, that could mostly be your the fault. Good is going to come from you being in Asgard. Maybe not. I am not. I'm not. I don't disagree. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Huh. Suppose so. Time to all, Mr. All Seeing Eyes. I'm wondering if his eyes are a little more all-seeing than I'm thinking. <laughs> a true believer. And Mimir mentioned him, huh? Gultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? <laughs> yeah, that would probably be the logical course of events, Herman. That's if it's called Ragnarok, fire raining down upon this place might be the result of Kratos for one reason or another. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Hmm. Look at this guy. He's awesome. I like him. Oh, want me to hop on, do you? Well, let me look around first. That's what I like to do. And this time I'm stealing your stuff. <laughs> now you can get on to me. Chickens! Oh my gosh. Asgard chickens. Are they special compared to normal chickens? They're god chickens. Look at it. In all its glory. I need to record this moment for posterity. There he is. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, come on. Back up. There he is. Yeah. Focus. There he is. Boom. Chicken. <laughs> Surter. Now, Kress is going to be the stand in for him. Asgard's doom. Whoa, they just got a freaking wyvern on a perch. Asgard is awesome. I'm surprised he's not getting on to me for keeping him waiting. <laughs> oh. Okay. Whoa. You got me. <laughs> it's a rooster. I just use chicken for all you roosters all or chickens. And gods. occasionally correct myself, but... Told me that oh, only... well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be... <laughs> he has no idea. Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? Nice know place, though. <laughs> I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Yes. Is it that hard to believe? Do you guys have your own tale of how that wall was built? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architecture. Oh, where are the revisionist ones? Not you guys, who clearly would have had something to gain by saying a giant Is didn't build your giant keeping out wall. Have do you think the All Father needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? Sounds I like he would, but not. that is the Great Lodge, which the All Father built with his own hands. Okay, well, yeah, it's I'm not sorry, all big and fancy and golden like I thought it might be. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It Fair enough. When the time is right, don't you agree? Hey. Woo! Woo! Hey, helmets! I brought you a practice. Oh, I we were going boy! To... You see, the thing is, you do treacherous. Do not. So I am not letting you anywhere here. Let me take out your dead guys for you. <laughs> oh, nice. These guys just hang around Asgard because they're supposed to be in Valhalla. Well, no. 
These guys were tough enough to knock Kratos to the ground, so we should probably be screwed right about now. Come on. Loki. Loki. <laughs> You're seeing it. Here, I'll show you this. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Come on. Can you turn into a wolf? I don't think you can. You just have purple eyes. That was boring. Guess who's Mar next? You? you sure you want to keep up on the waiting? Funny thing. I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. <laughs> oh, nimble move. Glad to see you are awake. Ah, no. Oh no, arrows. Well, let's How try this. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Try again. Whoa. Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, speaking of Ultra Instinct, like 10 minutes ago. From your grave. What? Uh, that doesn't even make sense. Yep, doesn't, but. <laughs> sure. Completely in effect. Ah! Keep doing it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Try this. Ha! Okay, that didn't work. Let me try the other thing I've got. Uh, maybe if we. Oh, okay. Let's try my sharpshooter. We can slow down time. Once it recharges. Ah! Oh! Yeah, we're fighting a god right now. We're in trouble. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. What does it mean? You should probably stay down. No. <laughs> the time is committed. <laughs> Whoop! Yeah, good shot. Yeah, no health bar. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Thor. Like it or not, she's all father's guest. Thanks for vouching for me. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. You're seriously gonna try to get between the Thor to me? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. Ooh. You are a sick man. Don't point at my nipple. <laughs> Loki, so yeah, you can you see into people's I heads by looking into their so eyes, honest. I guess. I, I see you've met Heimdall. Yeah, it kind of gave me a hard time. For me. The boy As I've determined. This young man who is that cut guest, was from Kratos when we stabbed him with the axe. Care to explain? Maybe you should have given him a memo. <laughs> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? <laughs> Heimdall. Why else just would stepped he around him. I've given him no reason to trust me, not yet. But he's got some very big questions, and I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Get this man a band-aid. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. <laughs> oh, Father. Oh, Mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? No. <laughs> I was going to get around to it, but I wasn't going to do it right off the bat. Get out of here. <laughs> I love that. Everyone's like, of course he's going to betray me. He doesn't know anything about me yet. I'm just here to give him a chance to trust me. <laughs> he's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. Hey, at least I got some experience out of getting the crap kicked out of me. Now we're covered in mud. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I knew you wouldn't like this design. I don't think we should talk <laughs> about it. It is definitely that well, huh. an unanticipated design for Odin. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Hmm. 
Priest. Oh, they're training him. Carry on. Pretend I'm not here. I'm sure they would have had you said nothing. You, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, that's all behind us now. Yeah, making a good I point like for your quips. You know, hey, Thor's hey, the, hey. the brawn. He's the brains. Not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All right. Okay. Queen Gana. The Ain Huryar are ready for your blessings. Ain Huryar. Mm -hmm. I knew that was mm. how you said it. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huryar. Mm hmm. Come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I mean, yeah, you bring someone out of the dead, it can be a little disorienting. They were in life. That's important. Don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon feed nothing. Hrothgar. Oh, okay. He he adds those little things onto their eyes. Moon feed nothing. Yana. Mm-hmm. He's a schemer. Okay. Next up. That's the vibe I get from him. Ah. Ah, the books. Good. Those the pro are sound effects. Makes you think of Billy Hatcher. Reader. Always a good thing. These oh. are just a few things. Why did they think those were like pizza boxes for a second? Uh, like as they were entering off screen for like a fraction of a second. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. And Stay Kratos there. is currently just hauling it over here as fast as he can, no. trying to get us back. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm <laughs> half great. giant? Big deal. So is Thor. This place is like a tavern. I like it. Stay awake for me. Okay, but... <laughs> Look. Don't overthink it. I have a project. like that we're just having a walking montage carrying books a right now. Learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Yeah, he seems to be following the pestering to learn thing right now. Asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? I wouldn't think he would want to sound intimidating. Yep. Just over here. I mean, especially with You're us, he's to trying to put on an air that he wants to work with us. Please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. No, you're not. <laughs> All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed Sif. Loki being our new house guest. <laughs> Say hello to Loki. Hi, Loki. This is him. <laughs> Here. In our home. Got a problem with that? How nice. Yeah, she My does. Diplomat. <laughs> Very diplomatic. Right in New Midgard. The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. What about them? You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Just uh, right there on the floor. Sure. Anywhere's good. <laughs> Wants us to cook meth. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. All Father, sir. <laughs> Imagine you're just standing there minding your own business. Bam! All Father warps in. Uh. Hey, what's up, bro? Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue? It has, now? hasn't it? No, Haven't seen you since like the it's second stream. Volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training puck buckets? You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. You're gonna pretend you don't know who I am, eh, Durlin? Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. <laughs> I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confident okay, you can nice. deliver me these machines as promised on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down. Because Odin is all about safety. About safety now. first. Right? Good. 
the union grievances will be all over him. <laughs> Odin companion moment. Wouldn't that be insane? Wait, don't leave me behind. Like that menacing reverse crow sound okay, is pretty nice. I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Oh, thank you. Is there a shower anywhere? Maybe? A river? A stream, perhaps? I don't know. A lot of shields in here. Where are my books? Did you stock them up over here or are they still in the hallway? Okay, what Loki clothes you got for me today? Aesir uniform. Green thing. See that as well. Guess I could try this on. Siri, shut your freaking face! <laughs> what did I say? Aesir bow. Mm. For a prince of Asgard, fit for Thor himself. Or Loki, <laughs> if you go by Marvel logic. Is that the reference? <laughs> Maybe. Nice. Immediately restores one in its place. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. Runic Recharge. Petrified Dragon Blood. Whoa, I can use this. Sure can. Hmm, nicely equipped. What needs work? Wait, I have to craft it? I thought I already had it. Oh, let's craft it then. I'll try it out, see if it's any good. I mean, the Jotnar bow is pretty nice. But there's also the Hunter's... I mean, if the basic Talon bow is actually pretty dang good, strangely enough. Because you just get increased stun from melee attacks and bow shots, which is nice. You just run up and just smack them around. The Greatly Reduced Cooldowns is good if you use Runic Summons and bow abilities. Which I don't, but... <laughs> Reckless Empowerment. All damage dealt is increased while runic arrows are fully depleted. That's pretty cool. Sunstone. You just fire off all your runic arrows and then rush in. Do some damage. So many of these, I don't even know what to use. To make you <laughs> Odie, like the dog. Let's upgrade the Talon Bow. Because I like the Talon Bow. What, Timur? We can max this sucker out. All right. Let's our champion garb, and here's our Aesir uniform. Made specifically for us. I guess while we're here, we're going to wear it. We don't want to walk around wearing uh, giant clothes. Might spur some people on just a tad. Explode. That's pretty good. Very stun. I like that. Put on Reckless Empowerment. Hmm. 
Lethal Detonation, yeah. Lethal Detonation is good, but this one's nice because it just makes Sigil Arrows increase status. So I'm going to go for that. <laughs> I mean, that would be interesting because Kratos has a history of not one-shotting things. <laughs> Regardless of the fact that in lore he should one shot almost everything he comes across, there has very rarely been an instance where he just one shot something. Although in this game he actually did one shot something though. Whoa! Oh, hello! Right? It's like that troll thing we fought. The irony of this isn't lost on My me. poor headphones are out of power room, already. Yeah? His? My Get that cleaver away from me! Oh. Modi? Oh, sorry about Brother. that. He put me up in Modi's room. Why'd he do that? No idea. That's really no. awkward. We killed that yours. guy. Enjoy. I don't blame you for, for being mad. Better. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. Oh, I guess you didn't like them that much. Headphone case is also dead, so that's unpleasant. We're better off without him, okay? Oh. Got it. You were just Trusting. messing around. <laughs> why did my controller shake from Walk that handshake? That's why. <laughs> For a second, I was uh, like, why would that prompt a, a controller shake? Forget your sword. <clears throat> Does it have some Mjolnir-esque qualities? Uh, someone will clean that up. Yeah, yeah. Please. Modi slept in here, huh? This was his room. He kept it just the way he left it. Jeez, Odin. Imagine that. Someone kills your grandchild. You invite him over. To your home, and then put him up in the room of the person he killed. <laughs> Gosh. That's a thing, I guess. Oh, it feels so wrong standing here now. Ugh, get me out of here. So, uh, what kind <laughs> of woman. Did he even have a woman? One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. That's where Man. mom and dad sleep. Ever hear a thunder god snore? Cause you're gonna. Right. That's where Balder stayed. When he stayed anywhere. Right. I get. I mean, he had to choose. Do I put him in Balder's room or do I put him in Modi's room? Either way, it would be kind of bad. So, uh, uh, he had quite the task on his hands. Yeah. That is the thing about Mjolnir in actual mythology, is that it's not that you have to be worthy to wield it, it's just insanely heavy. So only someone like Thor, who's insanely strong, can lift it. And I imagine, if they're going to stay accurate, which they should, yeah, then the sword's training. probably just like that, where it's really it? heavy. To the great hall. But if you need to go to work, and Atreus isn't that strong, stairs. so there's no way he'd be able to lift it. No, another child of Thor. Hmm. Yep. Fancy that. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And cool. then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. <laughs> you know, my father and I... We, we fought Valkyries, lots of them. Encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. <clears throat> encountered. Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? I prom mother. <laughs> now he's got you involved with this. Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't yeah. That Isn't that your whole you shtick? Who this is, right? What his father did. Why does he want him here? Mom. Come on. <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of Loki. This later. Uh, also, yep. Uh, O.J. Simpson. He died. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I yes, indeedy. Oh, hey, Tay, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing fine. Shut up and drink. 
Well, that's extremely heavy property, but also three other ones which are magical. It never breaks, it always returns, and it never misses. It never misses is pretty nice. Never knew about that one. Yeah, exactly. I'd buy it, though. Why are we just talk? Why are we just standing here with this guy? Sorry about her. Mom, it's the only thing that Thor can right? swing at full strength without breaking so, it with a lot of added more, weight behind the blow. Really need to get to work? It also sucks. Suck if you want to dodge. Yeah. I will. Maybe I'll get her some meat. Mmm. Shut up and drink. <laughs> the Asgardians just chilling. Finally, getting what I wanted, just walking around in the place Please where there's regular people me, about. Oh, hey, Heimdall. To impress one another. Huh? Come on, you haven't had enough Heimdall in your day. I've had more than okay. enough, but. <laughs> That's what I told Forsetti. Except more politely. Like the honey's point. Except considerably more politely. Yes. Didn't do much to this. Listen, whatever grandfather. Yeah, that is interesting. Do, remember. This is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Yep. Well, glad we did that. See, if that was, uh, that's her, that was her mom, that means that would be Thor's wife. Catch you later. Yeah, catch you later, Throod. Yes, I, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying <laughs> yes? Yeah, I the power's going to create us. I. I. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, because that's the thing. They basically just had a little kerfuffle because. Mm -hmm. Thor was only there to try to go to a little you bit see, of his true strength out of him. No, and Kratos was yeah. holding back immensely, which was the whole point. I need you to stop croaking and 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 accept the answer you know I'm about to give. Oop. Neat sword. I was just looking at this. That old thing. <laughs> that piece that of garbage? Is... <laughs> huh. Who can remember? <laughs> Nito, whose soul is trapped in there? Ingrid. Ingrid, sure. I guess. Sure, why not? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you like it that much? Oh, well, thank you. Got a sheath and everything. And there go my headphones. Thank you. I mean, really. I should have charged the base. Hmm. Wonder why. Thank you for getting me away from that guy. Walk with Odin. Doesn't that sound like fun? But before I do, I'm going to steal more of his stuff. Burr! I'm going to smash open his chest and just rip out his heart. No, <laughs> take the hack, Silver. Yeah, it's going to be uh, quieter. The audio is still there. It's just quiet. <laughs> Quiet, quiet. I'll have to crank it up slightly for you guys to hear it. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? No, it's knowledge that you're after. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, Doesn't change what you're doing. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. <laughs> but do you think we have the answers? We don't. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here to give meaning to A true god would know that answer. Without it ourselves? No. And more than that, I found something that proves it. Fancy place. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like 
Knowledge. It's a rip in the fabric of space and time. All the answers. They're right in there. <laughs> that why we're here. Learn how to change our fates. Stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. <laughs> Save the people we love. How? I was a young god. It's kryptonite. And I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. You see, if you can rip open that hole, all they see is the Santa Monica offices where they were developing the game. See that? It shares the same mystical energy. What is it? It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? A little too small. <laughs> this is what happened when I did. <laughs> What's the broken mask for? Oh my gosh, it's the mask from the movie. The mask. It totally is. If it has anything to do with, with Loki here. I mean, look at it. It looks a little like it. It looks almost exactly like it. What the heck? Because it's only broken in half. Great guy who hates modern Kratos. Field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Was it about the clue? Here, let me put my other headphone in and charge that one too. Hopefully, it'll be that? fueled up before I have to stop. Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father. I already have. <laughs> Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. Come on, let's go in there and scout. I mean, I've been trying for 2,000 years to read this thing. What's next? Thor! Get down here! All father. <laughs> Thor! What? What's next is chasing this down. Take this. And this stuff inside a beef. What? Oh, no. Thor companion? I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. <laughs> Batman moment. And you. Jim Carrey would make anything better. Oh my gosh. Thor companion. Here we go. I'm here for it. Oh, this place. I haven't been here since the 2018 days. Yep, Moosebaheim. See, it's totally the mask from the freaking the movie, man. You put that on and bam. You're an unstoppable Toon Force demon. <laughs> You're gonna see a whole other level of holding back. How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. He's probably the most apprehensive companion in any game ever made. <laughs> he doesn't want to be here at all. Mask guidance. You see, look at it. It's, it's even like made of wood. Is there some kind of actual mythological basis for this mask that the movie used and it wasn't just random that they said Loki? Jojo vampire mask. Oh gosh. Was Atreus the original Dio all along who set forth the whole line of Dio vengeance spirits? That'd be nuts. Hmm. They're tuned to a trace's goal. It's the freaking compass from uh, from Pirates of the Caribbean. It literally is. Okay. Glow when we're pointing yeah. in the right direction here. It seems like we go through this rock. Step aside, boy. Boom! <laughs> no, you weren't. With those arms. <laughs> Both of our arms could fit into one of his arms. Whoop! Oh! Shiny toothpick. Get him! Yeah! Oh! Great, we can direct his attacks. Be like this! Whoa! Get a magic sword companion. I'm just gonna headcanon that it's, uh. Oh gosh. It's that one sword Pokemon from X and Y, whose name I can't remember for some reason. It's one of those guys.
Yep. Where are we supposed to head now? Hone Edge. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Herman. Hone Edge. Age of Slash is the evolved one. Maybe the real prophecy prevention was the deal we made along the way. The mask pointing us? <laughs> the voice in his head told him to do it. Surely. Up there. Like there might be a ledge we could He's gonna just eat us, man. Hey, yep, here we go. <laughs> he just threw the hammer and jumped with us. Like well, he did. I feel so called out right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at him go. I just want to watch him fight for a second. Come on, Thor, you left your hammer right there. Oh my gosh. He staggered that guy in one hit. I will. Oh, I like that he's actually causing lightning status on him. Oh my gosh. Working on it. Stop telling me what to do, Thor. Took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. <laughs> Please, well, Thor's walking. I can imagine a number of things that that would be, but yeah. Th if there's any design from this game to defend, it is Thor because this is actually very accurate. Yeah, the the tuba song figured as much. <laughs> if there's one thing that would be tough to criticize with merit, it would actually be Thor's design. What do you mean? Later. Don't like, like it or not, this is what Thor looked like. <laughs> mask. Right. So what you will about the rest of the game, but this is Thor. Now, I mean, it is. <laughs> Look up the mythology. He, this is what he was like. <laughs> He's the dude who drank an entire ocean. Anyway, mask time. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you... It's like Herman said, he just, just ate and drank constantly. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? Yeah. They were my family. Should I get some blood? They were your people too. The giants they were. were blight on the nine realms, and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Mm. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh. Last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. No, I mean, yeah, deserve some cuffs. <laughs> yeah, maybe they expect him to be buff and that just... <laughs> hasn't changed since then. Because, I mean, and the thing is, he's also not, like, obese. You can see that he's got muscle mass built underneath, like a actual competitive strongman. Oh, gosh. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you are mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Okay. 
Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. Let's not right, let's not ignore the fact that Loki Atreus here only even was able to kill him because you beat the heck out of him in a drunken rage. <laughs> so We've got a fancy sword. Do, 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 do. Man, they dodged all of that. <sighs> he just runs up and kicks them. That's pretty nice. I can't aim for anything. Still got him. Get him, Thor. Fair point. Whip. <laughs> do you do like the Moonlight Greatsword thing where you shoot out an energy beam? I believe you do. Yep, you definitely do. That's awesome. Little help. Flurry. It's tough. Maybe he'll join them at least for a little bit. Wherever there's an obstacle in our way, that's where we go. Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? Over here ish. The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. He'll just grab us and jump again. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? <laughs> You're so different from your daughter. She seems. Hey, I'm looking. Yeah, I like that. This was an optional area in in the 2018 game that you didn't have to go to, but now it's actually part of the story. That's kind of nice. Hi. Thor, what the? Wait, Surtur's shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? What? No. <laughs> Make Kratos the boss. They just do the Last of Us two thing better. Every contemporary depiction well, of Thor looks derpy beyond belief. The trials are just past that cliff. Right, right. First we deal with them. You Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? Time. Like I from what I've heard a lot of depictions did look kinda like a lot of them looked very similar to each other. They weren't exactly creative in terms of their design depictions, I would say, but. Yep, there you have it. Yeah, if, if he's so concerned about getting this done faster, <laughs> then just one-shot them. You clearly can. What? It bounced off his back. I know he's got a shield, but it wasn't drawn. Oh, gosh. Look at that thing over there just approaching us. Thor, you take that one. I got him. I got him. Help! What are you stuck on? You <laughs> got stuck on the hammer! Oh, that's awesome. 
It's like what Thor did in, uh, well, Thor Ragnarok, where he dropped the, dropped Mjolnir in the dragon's mouth. It's like that. He just dropped it on his foot. Another ogre? Ugh. What are you doing in my fire swamp? Please? Get him. Get him. Good. Now stop focusing on the little ones. Hey, look, he one shot it. See? <laughs> Twist himself in the pretzels. I'm not even concerned. <laughs> Subjectivity is a wonderful thing. It's the rich, it's the rich tapestry of opinions that makes the world interesting. It's interesting that Dan shows up for this entire stream where we're just doing Atreus gameplay, which I've actually seen a lot of people say is less compelling than the Kratos stuff, just overall. <laughs> so, not a good indicator. Although I don't know if it would help much. That's right, zappy zappy. Drops. The All Fathers waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. Falcons dive. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on. Give me a challenge. Hmm. That's the method I'm employing right now, Dan. Now to get to that shrine. <laughs> Thor's still busy. I should get to that shrine. Yeah, I don't know what he's up to. Where should I go, Mask? Agree to disagree. We should be able to Okay. That's where the mask wants us to go. But first, let's head to the shrine. We'll find you. Oh gosh, the I, me I messed with the subtitles. What? <laughs> Oh, what I said. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was just kind of out of pocket, but yeah. What the heck does it want me to do? Man, Thor's having a hard time. Oh, that's right. He mentioned earlier about going to the shrine. So while he's off doing that, we're gonna do this. Hey, angry. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I remember what you mean. I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. Mmm, that's gonna be hard. If they think I trust them. 
Yeah. It's gonna be hard to make them trust you if you don't trust them and you know you can't trust them. Why can't I jump there? There's the shrine. <laughs> Even Atreus is annoyed by these guys. It's just like, oh, you stupid things. Just can fight him instead. Where are these things coming from? Also, not fair. All of Thor's attacks have elements to them. So he can one-shot these guys, but I can't. Okay, don't even bother killing them. Just move past them. And, oh, they make me have to shoot it <laughs> over and over again. Yeah. Oh gosh, hey! <laughs> you know, for someone who is trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. Well, you sneak up on somebody, that's how it works. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? Well, you can, I'm just curious. Here for sorcerers marvel. Maybe. <laughs> she could sense that we were here. Looking for more giant marbles? Why not? You know what this looks like, right? What does it look like? The life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like the fine destiny. Hmm. The you know, that actually looks a lot like one of the depictions that uh, Herman just showed me. Hmm. My story. Stylistically. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. Hmm. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. Prophecy's words, not mine. I mean, I'm not gonna die on I'm not I'm not gonna die on a hill defending God of War Ragnarok. You're welcome to help if you want. Like I'm not getting bent out of shape about someone not liking this game. There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. I mean, I'm, I'm only just playing it for the first time. <laughs> My opinions are only barely forming. Oh, hello there. General Kenobi. Yep, it's a hone edge. Ah, okay. Well, good. He can destroy Asgard for us. Oh, hey, Jess. <laughs> Just woke up, missed a lot indeed. They're far from here. But hey, far good to see you, though. And Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to, what seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. <laughs> want to see my reaction to the Marvel there? jab? I'll find them. Which one? It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur. That's you expect a sure. Golden City? Yes, yes, I recognize that right away. <laughs> he was like, oh, you think the Allfather has to flex his power with some giant golden palace? This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it wasn't. It just stopped? Oh, no, no, no. Look, it's because they fought together. Yeah. It's like they even became friends. Good friends. Uh, Close friends. <laughs> yeah, Atreus. Brain yeah. cell. I think they are. Oh, well, that's. Good for them. But it looks like their um, love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Who then plunges his sword into Asgard. Ba -da -ba -ba. Right. I saw that in Groa's shrine. Well, that was. <laughs> oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting. Big. No, yeah, people can get obsessed with being right even though there are some things where it's not a matter of being right. I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. 
I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your uh, friend. No, <laughs> no. And we couldn't stop him if we wanted to. Be careful, please. Yeah, he he's not gonna smash us because well, Odin won't let him. But yeah, he wouldn't hesitate to kill you. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from. Yeah, you didn't see it showed up. Do I like my friend's sword? I do. I love my friend's sword. It's nice just having a sword just flying around attacking things for me. Now that I have my own personal hone edge. But just like her, we're a Pokemon trainer now. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspelheim. Who are you talking to? It was like forever ago. <laughs> There's no one else here. Yeah, debate streamers. That's an interesting thing. Debate streamers. Of course. I admit, that was fun. Aww. There were mountains of corpses by the time I finished cut down like the So wait, you're telling me <laughs> Thor just went and speed ran the entirety of the trials. He did it faster than we did, and we had the infinity gauntlet. <laughs> I like to do is at least able to admit that he had fun. Hey, what's taking so long? Well, there's there's a lot of them, and I can't one shot them with a giant hammer like you can. What did Dan say? Oh, that he doesn't like this game, and that people who do are idiots, basically. But. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of just... <laughs> you wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. They I believe it. <laughs> I think you're right. Throod would She'd be faring better than you at least. Well... <laughs> I was hoping you'd comment on that. Cause I don't know if you did the first time I did it. Man, this thing is so strong! Blech. You, annoying guy. Yeah, when he's off screen, he kills everything. And I don't know, I feel like I might have made Dan angry, but it wasn't my intention. I was just kind of lightly playing off of what he said. I didn't even think anything of it when I said it. I was trusting you. So, where to? Looks like we need to head through that gate. Oh, yeah? I had to do something while you were off fighting. Well, check again. Oh, that's a runic attack. I mean, uh, I did the holding square thing. It just kind of shoots a bunch of swords out, which is cool. Top 10 moments, honestly. Well, uh, thank you, I guess. You don't even need to ask the mask where to go. It's just, it's through the wall every time. Oh my gosh. You're goddamn right. <laughs> That was 90% of it. <laughs> Again, I was like... As I was reading, I was saying, I just felt a little... 
I was like, oh, I, don't, I didn't know why he was attacking us like that. I just kind of said it. Again, it was out of pocket. I just kind of played off of it instinctively. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? I wasn't even, I swear, I wasn't trying to burn him or anything. It just, it just kind of came out that way. Whoa! When you drop the diamond pickaxe in the lava. Ah, damn it. Some advice. That would hurt a lot more. <laughs> it's a good thing you're a god. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. Alright, let's get out of here. No. Okay. Don't yep. try to play. Fair again. enough. <laughs> you're an okay kid. Aw. You're still a giant and a rebel. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, a direct overt threat. Fantastic. And then Kratos will revel in killing you because that's what would happen. Look, we did it. Look, now we're only missing the bottom part. Is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think a if game we theory. find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing Did I watch Fallout? That's good stuff, but everyone's praising it. It's perfect. It uh, has a lot of really no bad way. stuff. I've no seen all of episode one. Game. And a little bit of episode two. I haven't gotten in a chance to watch the rest of it yet, but we'll both behave, I thought episode one was pretty good. Had some really had great. some questionable things in it, but I think generally it had a lot of really good stuff going for it at least. Really now, <laughs> like Todd being butthurt about falling in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I heard something about that. Haven't gotten that far. How could I possibly teach you? Exactly. Not much. Dang it, Thor was having a good time, and you just shut him down. I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know Payne doesn't like that Obsidian's game was better than this. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like that New Vegas is constantly being praised all the time because it's really good. But if, if a Fall 4 gets all of the <laughs> it's disappointing videos. And 76, but... <laughs> and Starfield. Big time on Starfield. And I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. Oh, I bet. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't gotten far enough to know what's in it that would make people think Todd is butt hurt about it, but I'll get there. Always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy. <laughs> getting well, I'm just asking a question. You said you give me answers. But it's nothing like that. It's well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands. Yeah, right? spoken like an abuser, Odin. Go ahead and try being nice to him. Well, we did, and you know what happened? He opened up to us a little bit before saying he would murder us. But uh, before that, it was okay. So, about the sword, <laughs> is Ingrid the name of the soul inside it? Or the sword that the soul is trapped in? Soul? Who said anything about? Look, son, some free advice. I did. You don't want to let anyone catch you talking to your sword, all right? It's <laughs> a bad look. Well, if your sword can talk back, it's not that bad. They're the biggest in US after the bombs and read some stuff. It's just a desert, really. All right, come along, Hugen. That's true, when she walks out, there's just a massive desert. I figured that the vault was just in one of the more deserty parts of California. Because there's a lot of those, but <laughs> But I don't know, maybe the vault was supposed to be closer to one of the more established areas.
I mean, I guess it looked like it was kind of supposed to be. He goes, where would it have been where everything's just all deserty? That's interesting. Can't use Busboy anymore. I guess I thought it sounded too demeaning. So can I just hold up the mask whenever I want? No way he has the mask. Wait, they said it got nuked again before New Vegas. How did it get nuked again? <laughs> By what? By whom? That's a curious thing. I mean, that would explain why it's just sanded over, I guess, but... This wasn't on the table before. Oh yeah, and also, I guess, not only boys can be a bus boy. That too. Kind of like stewardess. You could just be a steward, but... <laughs> Oh, the whole point which ruins war never changes. Oh, that that would be a total screw up if they mess that up. How could you even mess up that? I can't even fathom, but <laughs> Well, it makes me want to watch more of it. I guess I'll do that tonight. Is that a cowboy boot? It's a little cowboy boot like, but I <laughs> I, I guess it's not inherently that. Yeah, I want to watch more of it so we can talk about it. I'll I'll try to binge some of it tonight. I would have watched it uh, last night, but man, I was tired. I did the thumbnail for the stream, and I didn't do much else after that. Oh yeah, I did the thumbnail for that Budokai thing too. I mean, yeah, that's a, a fair point, Herman. I mean, it doesn't benefit anything to have gender-specific titles in a, in a job anyway. Like, just have a, a neutral name, because, I mean, it just makes more sense. Are you trying to make friends now? You said that makes us allies. Yes, as long as you had no treacherous... <laughs> oh, what did you see? You He's never been looking at me. Know quite what you're doing here anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I, I want to get a mug like that. I mean, I've got a, I've got one kind of similar vibe-wise, but I want that one. See is what people really are. No <laughs> I'm Paul's the biggest hater, yes. <laughs> I mean, when you can see into everybody's heads and see their thoughts, you'd kind of start to hate a lot of people around you, I imagine. You don't know what you want. You don't even know who you are. Hence why I'm here. But I hope you do know this. I will be watching. Creepy. Oh. What are your lips doing there? Look at them. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. They kind of move unnaturally. I try to destroy a mountain with a spoon. Yeah, if it was a really big spoon. And he kind of implied Odin is getting to a trace. Yeah, he looked into our eyes and he didn't see the same treacherous intentions. Oh, yeah. The world's smartest man versus the guy who can read people's minds. I would want to see Heimdall and Mimir interact. Hopefully we get that chance. That'd be a missed opportunity if we didn't. Hey, guys. You're blocking off all the doors. I would, I would almost expect this place to be a little more bustling, but I guess eh, you don't need, like, the 
some of the more big deal as guardians can hang out here. I reckon. Hey, you're back. Oh, hey, third. Where, where are you? Oh, there you are. How was it? Did father behave himself? Yeah. I mean, what you got there? Than I would have expected. I guess. Is that a the brush from grandfather's study? Oh yeah, her name's Ingrid. Oh, wow. you gendered her too. <laughs> I know Ingrid's a girl's name, but. Wow, all father must really trust you. Yeah. Well, glad you survived your first day. Hey, me too. Tomorrow we talk about Valkyries. Definitely. That also has incredible hearing, as well as being able to hear the grassy fields. And woolly hides grow. Huh. Fascinating. Got good hearing too. Wonder why they haven't depicted that. I just haven't noticed they have. What the frick? Okay, for a second I was like, that looks like I for a second I thought it looked very similar to Um Kratos' axe, but it's it's not, it just looks kinda close to it. This makes sense. It probably had similar design on purpose. And I don't know what the the circle spinny blade thing is there, the tornado or whatever. But it looks cool. Anyway, I'll let you keep cleaning your training equipment. <laughs> Literally giving him shiny things to seem better. Yep. He's giving us a sword that he thought was an old piece of trash just to try to gain our trust. Exactly. Precisely. Well. I'm, I'm serious right now. I'm so curious what Kratos is up to. He has got to be losing his mind right now. <laughs> Careful now. It's very old. Superhero intends to be forgotten about. Yeah. I've got a character for a comic series I'm conceptualizing with superhero. And, uh, <laughs> definitely not forgotten about with her. Yeah, the story probably wouldn't work if anyone spoke anywhere Heindel just hurt them. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why they got rid of it, just because it would be insane. Oh, snap. Okay, here's what he's doing. That was an amazing transition. <laughs> it caught me off guard. Yeah, I think they had to nerf Heimdall slightly <laughs> for this, just to make things work, but... Iron Man Cullis. <laughs> for the Civil War against Asgard. Good morning, brother. It was our Captain America. But I have a plan. Do you not? We go to Asgard, kill everyone we find until we get to Atreus. Mir's like, that's not a good plan. The Lords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but... Mm-hmm. That's the knife Kratos gave him, and it appeared there. I did notice that. For a second, I was like, I didn't know if that was just a weird transition-y thing, but no, he did, in fact, just leave it there for him like that. He's got weird sleep powers. Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should. We are an army. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. I guess she's straight up saying, "Let's build an army and and raid Asgard." You are not free of blame here. This is your fault, Tyr. Curse his foolishness, his confusion. I only seek my son. I mean, he did not steal him. We, he went there on his own accord, and you saw it happen. But you, Freya, war is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. 
Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. Right, like maybe Odin didn't like that he could constantly hear everything he was saying, so he stripped that power away from him. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would I'd buy that. Fate. But your instincts haven't led us down so far. There you Let's go. The norms. I was going to say you have a good hand on your shoulders, Mimir, but... You got a good head there. The word of fate. I thought I said the world of fate for a second. Fate stay night and what have you. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tear, you're at the center of this. You always have been. Oh, different poems That's for every why character. Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once hmm. did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before. More right, they just chose one where Heimdall doesn't have the hearing. I guess so. What is that? They just chose an interpretation where he did not that utilize it. The path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. And save Atreus. If securing our justice is not your purpose, <laughs> find I like the difference there. For your own sake. At, not vengeance, it's justice. Which, I mean, it probably would be, considering the stuff we've heard he's done. There's a poem that said Thor was five meters tall. Well, yep, they weren't going to roll with that. I mean, it would make sense. He was supposed to be from a giant. But this definitely goes with the interpretation that not all giants were literally giants. Just some of them were. Oh, hey Brock, you coming with? We're just gonna hammer the door. <laughs> just polishing up the door frame. Needed a good hammering, you know. <laughs> yep, there he goes. Oh, you're right, he did break the door. That's actually kind of cool that they haven't. He's just now fixing it up. <laughs> nice. I'm fixing a door, bad sign. We don't like that. Should have left it broken. Ooh, Midgard's honor. Yes. A lot of these. Remedy of the Bifrost. Mm, that's actually okay. That's cool. Successful hits against the enemies will cleanse small amounts of Bifrost. Basically, adding like the rally effect from Bloodborne, but only for Bifrost. Hmm. Bright eyed emblem. I thought I said bright eyed problem. I can't read things today. In terms of Canlo, I'm pretty sure Baldur and Thor explicitly stated to be on par with or even superior to Zeus. Mm. In terms of seen, not really. Yeah, I guess we haven't seen much yet to indicate that, but it's probably the case. Here's the king that has it for five months. Cool stuff. Man, we have so much hack silver. I'll craft this. Don't know if I'll necessarily use it, but I'll craft it. Norse mythos are weird. Yep. But that's what's awesome about it. That it's weird. Ooh, he messed you up good, man. Does it hurt? All of this? Only when I worry. And I worry all the time, so... Yeah. Hang on! Hang on, I'm not done yet, no. 
-hmm. We're just gonna knock it off the hinges Hi. again. Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have a few back. Ah, thank you. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheap. Now that you fixed it. it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? We shall. The Guardian Shield. Ironically, we have a shield, and yet we've got the the Iron Man colors on, so we're like a fusion. We may have consequences to look forward to. Yep, our old friend, the Guardian Shield. Fit for a balance of defensive options. Shield check. It's got shield check and parry. Probably pretty good to use. It's got good defense. Less cooldown, but uh, funnily enough, equal defense to the Shatterstar shield. Hmm. It's a mix of all. Well, yep, going back to the wife shield. You just have to. Yeah. I like that this has multiple shields now. That's a nice new addition. What are you looking at? Squirrel. Squirrel. Ah, <laughs> Tosker, thank Madame you. Ethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She oh. A friend of yours? Less a friend than another long-time tenant of the tree. She was here even before... And I now arrived. she's gone. Hmm. That. Almost as if someone decapitated her. To even think something could keep her I saw her head over there. <laughs> terrible. Just terrible. Now to Asgard! <laughs> Dang it. Our goal, Midgard. For the world of fate. Yep. Let's go. I suppose that's one way to refer to it. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. Yeah, he must have opened it up briefly. <laughs> now, nah, what it was was that, we find these in case we've forgotten, which I just did until 10 seconds ago, we went to Midgard, talked to the crow, and then he just warped us in. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult. <laughs> well, since our last adventure, everything was insanely easy. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Ah, uh, it's been a nice stream. You gotta go. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out, Herman. Midgard. Always welcomed, Our for sure. Gusts and we won't be going much longer than another like thirty Our minutes anyway. But hey, you enjoy the rest of your day, man. We'll Where would they get an idea like and uh, hey, maybe we'll catch you again for soon. Me, of course. Of course. There will be a weekend stream. Don't know if you can make it for that, but in case you missed it, just to let you know. This Saturday. Now, finally over here. <laughs> Haven. <laughs> they get this from you yeah she tried to kill us and i, I like that they were aggressive around her because they were there when Once she tried to murder us oh pippin only be there absolutely it's the ape exhibit <laughs> stop whining <laughs> oh don't be so mean when did you last brush them they are wolves and matted fur leads to disease <laughs> take care of them and they'll take care of you yeah. Come on, Kratos. You know you don't gotta think you don't gotta take care of your animals. But Atreus brushed them. What exactly do you brushed. intend to ask the norms? How I may find my Oh yes, that's right, Jazz. Stream Saturday. We were able to negotiate 
an opportunity for a Saturday stream, so... Yep. Blenda coming back for yet another stream. Just in time for right before Bethesda drops that uh, next-gen upgrade. <laughs> Hope, I'm pretty sure the next stream will be after they drop that upgrade. But you dead. Yep. From a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. Nope. Because he's died like three times. No. Death can have me when it earns me. Ooh, that is sick. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. Yep. I wish to speak of this no further. <laughs> Water the plants. Oh yeah, Fallout 4. Yeah, Fallout 4 is getting the, the next gen upgrade in like uh, April 25th or something like that. And it's also what we're going to be playing on Saturday. Just continuing with uh, the, the Blenda playthrough. The the oh! Cool. Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves I actually old. made myself here without knowing that. Sure, I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekran. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. Hmm. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. Right, there's a lot that I could explore here. An ally. What if I could find anything interesting. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. Oh, a strong enemy odor is distracting the wolves. Helping you to cover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Clever. Tall. Okay, stop. Yep. Da -da -da! That went well. You doing, bro? I need to do that combo more. <laughs> it was his girlfriend. Hmm. Wholesome then. These were coal raiders. Heavy runic attacks. Well, that's good. and I rescued ours from such an Oh, no wonder they were distracted. Kind of. Abused its creatures. Then they will all die. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. <laughs> Indeed. They know if you will or will not do the side quests. Cyclone of Chaos. That's a light runic attack, but. It's something. Helios Flare. It clears out nearby enemies. Oh, that's a good one. Try that one on for size. Yep. Classic God of War move. L1 square. Easy peasy. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns. I want R1 for that. Well. No. The well of Earth, their home. Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. <laughs> Hard to explain. I remember. No <laughs> space, <laughs> did the little spinny gone. thing. A place holy under their influence. Now it's a tangible, it's a runic attack. Tangible. Your own mind. 
But if we go in together, Good to know. are we in each other's minds? Mmm, all at once. Like it's nice to see that they're bringing back some of the old moves for this. Mimir, have you encountered these norms? Not her. Okay. Animal instincts. Let's track it and see if we can't find these guys. And of course, we could find the other jelly, like you said. So many options, so little time. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sound effects are coming from the controller. To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Brother, what is it? Indeed. The wolves are distracted. His fate was death, so I came for him all the same. All right, wolf killers. Prepare to eat rock. Ba blam. Yep, that did the trick. hurt so bad. They were attacking me while I was doing my fire thing, and now I'm dead. <laughs> Face right in the snow. <laughs> okay, dragon. <laughs> yeah, try hold him. That. Ow. Bye. Oh, so many of them. The fire is so annoying. Trying. Here. God, I could do that for a sec. <laughs> oh! Snap! And, yep. Man, these guys are tough. It's a stupid fire blast they do that just chip away at you. Yeep. Don't even... Try and this time rock to the face. Did you get stuck on the bench that was up there? Oh, did they do like a they firebomb themselves, it looks like. Oh, I thought I'd pull you down, but alright. Forget that I can do this. It's cool that it actually like holds up the sword for that. That is all of them. No eating here tonight. Luminous alloy. Mmm.
I don't know how much more luminous than any other alloy. I guess it's just especially so. They Yemen. Poor things. That's why they were whining. There's still two more camps to kill. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have oh, yes. So the Lord's told Streaming soon? Uh, relatively, I guess. I got time. I don't have work today. Ooh, wait. Keep talking. The legends I had about the ghost of Sparta were surely exactly Oh no, they were not, I tell you. <laughs> or not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle. <laughs> oh no, I did that alright. I love that he doesn't believe that we did that. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. And instead of just actually so doing it, they fought you. Their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. <laughs> these Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms. Nope. Aye, <laughs> can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if and Odin, Odin had it, he'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. That's awesome. There's like, okay, that's nuts. <laughs> You're telling me your gods could control time itself? And you killed them. Ah, you're gonna get going for today, Tay? <laughs> you're tired to be back tomorrow? Alright, you do that. But hey, thanks for stopping by, though. How the heck do I get up there? I see a pool of blood. Side. I'll just go around this way. How to do it? Well, it's like Zeus. I don't know. He seemed to command a lot of things through force, unlike Odin, who's doing it through manipulation. Like he just had a hand in everything, and everyone just hates him for it. But interestingly, most of the gods seem to like Zeus <laughs> before, prior. I mean, so many of them died defending him, so they seemed cool with him at least. But with this, I don't know how many gods would die for, for Odin. Heimdall would, Thor, I guess. It seems like any god who's not you know, like in Asgard, would pretty much want to see him dead. But how many gods aren't in Asgard? Oh yeah, Zeus dying meant Greece dying. That's a fair point. <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. I care to try that again. I thought that killed you like it did the other times. Why do you even bother? Now maybe the wolves will cease their white. Nana, one more. Can't you read the prompt? That one seemed to go down way easier than the others. This one is Freya Mimir has kind of the best references. I don't know why I skipped that, but... <laughs> yes. I'm sure it does. Ooh, it has Guardian Ingot. 
No, no, drop down. Okay, fine. <laughs> Kratos! <laughs> what do you do? You use are so reasonable. Now you're going to think everything was Demos. Probably not. Forget him. I mean, yeah, he's probably also pretty upset about Atreus being gone. These are his wolves, after all. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it? Like, the side quests are worth doing just because you get to hear these stories during them. Oh yes, one of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a. Oh, he disguised himself when he. I Built the I wall, did he? I guess that makes sense. Habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the battle. Look, the lightning bolt's going right up the into a cloud. <laughs> Mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! It was two! <laughs> He'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Ooh. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. So yes. off mm -hmm. I went. Not it is in fact the frozen lightning. Promised or expected. I just like that it's moving up directly into a cloud. And this Mason <laughs> is giant in disguise. His name was Freemthor. He just smiled to see me. <laughs> He's so annoyed because he knows all the details of this. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. Mm -hmm. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And mm. if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Exactly. Lost it. Yeah, so we would need Ragnarok to even get in. Unless we found out how to use it instead. We can't even get to Asgard. That's a bigger problem. The way in is locked because the temple is busted. Nice place you got here. I <laughs> just rushed in. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can do better than that. That's right. Keep. Uh oh no 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 stop climbing on me get back in the hole oh, I juggled him up there shoot I can still get him oh got the wrong one oh well. what works works spinny 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 yeah, not very good on the damage, but it, uh, I guess it helps for stunning large groups of foes. Kratos, their chieftain. Where? Olaf Knotson. Oh, hey, Olaf. You're a big guy, aren't you? Oh, gosh, help! He smacked me out of my healing, and then it took the energy anyway. Oh, 
He's immune to the status. No, you don't. Don't you be drinking the blood on us. I need to burn him so I can switch to the axe. Oh, crud! No, it won't! Just enough to get a little bit of energy. Not a lot of energy, but a little bit of energy. Now, quick! Maul is distracted! Spam, spam, out. Oh, he just... Hit me good. Well, shoot. Oh, I have to fight all of them? Crud. You know, I don't know why, but I just randomly, literally thought out of complete nowhere. A new friggin' Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged Prince dropped yesterday. So that's got me excited. Haven't watched it yet, but I need to. Oh no, they're all still dead. We just have to, to kill them now. How would you like a grenade to the first, Olaf? Oh, I thought I'd get a mid-air with that. Did not. Hey, I switched it to the other one. That's weird. He can actually be hit by this status, so... Hard. <sighs> Sorry, I was, I was trying too hard to follow up with the fire. That was my bad. Oh, hey. Guess who? <laughs> Excalibur. Good to see you again, man. Start calling your clips. You can do that. <laughs> I don't have to bit too early. We could have had a, the whole gang. Yep, what's up, Musa? How you doing? Kratos, their chieftain. This time. <laughs> Boom! Nice. Fire blast move. What's the fire blast move? I can do that. Now, switch up, capitalize. <laughs> nice. I was frozen today. Up. Right. How are we doing? I'm doing fine. Holding R1 and back. Nope. That was actually pretty good. Okay. Oh, the ice spikes. I can do that. But the ice spikes is just hold R1. Hold R1 just... Dang! But I mean, he's, he's barely alive. You can finish him. No, but... All right. Well, on the note of Musa being here, let me just say that I have officially recorded the first episode of the Budokai Tenkaichi 3 playthrough. So if, if anyone's been looking forward to that, it has been recorded. I just need to finish editing it, so it should be out soon. Kratos, their chieftain. <laughs> Honestly, I think the first episode turned out pretty well. 
in my humble opinion. Oh boy. Yeah, jump back, hit R1, does that, but... Ah! I'm trying to heal, but he's spamming me to death! Oh man, it recovers his health when he does that. It's like fighting Captain Kitchen over here. Ah! Every time we get so close and then he just takes us out. Yeah, I don't know what one does like a fire explosion with, with the ice spikes for, for, the, for, for the blades. I'd have to look at my skill set and try to find out. What would that be? A technique? Scorched earth. That might be it. Do a flame whiplash and then slam it into the ground. No, that's it. Scorch sweep. Mm hmm. I don't charge the blade a lot, but I should be doing that more. Yeah, runic attack. I did. I have been using the runic attack more. And, oh yeah, Freya's. I need to use that too. There's so many combat options in this game, it's nuts. <laughs> I, I, I keep forgetting to use at least like half of them at any one time. I hit the, the stupid stool! Ooh, that did the trick. Okay, that did the trick. I think I do bonus damage to poison enemies, don't I? And since she can cause poison with her runic attack, that's actually pretty good. The way he heals is so crazy annoying. I know I can do it too, but... Don't even try. And you're dead, Olaf. Bye. Ah, oh, that's it. It's a broken neck. No, oh, it works. The chieftain was he the one who captured the oh, Chris got beheaded. I do not know. Imagine if that if there was a Kratos beheaded animation. Crackle of Bill Skernier. Hmm. Token of elemental evasion. To shed some status afflictions. What the heck does that mean? 
dodge rolling will hasten the expiration of bo of born <laughs> burn poison and frost that's pretty good i dodge roll a lot i need to upgrade this to get more of those spots look how many it can have crazy <laughs> There's the heavy runic attack, Tartarus Rage. Two destructive blade slams that stagger and launch enemies. Yep, I remember this one. Very accurate recreation of it. That's pretty cool. Since we don't have any, this will be the one I use. Hmm. Runic capacity. Hmm. Using runic summon instantly refill the arrows and empower them for a brief duration. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Put that one on. Oh, C N R. California New Republic. Close enough. Yep. That ought to do it. Yep. Voila. It's blue. Azula. And there's a lot of adaptations of things I still need to watch. I haven't even watched the Netflix Avatar one. Mostly just because I've heard mixed opinions on it. Still gotta watch the Fallout show, though. Heck, I've heard people at work talking about it, saying, like, oh, man, it's really good. They're like, you gotta check it out. I bet you one of them's hidden behind that gold. <laughs> Netflix Avatar, though. Haven't heard the same things. Mostly just heard it's a mixed bag more than anything else. The only good part is Zuko and Iroh and that they're perfect. Really, the only good parts. Sounds like a failing right there. <laughs> Shoot. They had a chance to do something. I heard it was successful enough that they're going to work on the other seasons, so at least maybe they can take the criticism to heart and make something better with it, but... Okay, that didn't fly. Of course it didn't. It's nowhere near close enough. This is a tricky one. There's no way. Put it somewhere where I can reach it. Can't reach it there. Dang it, that would be enough if I could freaking get to it. Try becomes a waterbending master as soon as she leaves the South Pole because Garen gives her the waterbending scroll she had. Yo, know, honestly, her having a waterbending scroll doesn't sound too far fetched because, I mean, there did used to be plenty of waterbenders over there during her time, but. I feel like that kind of does Katara's storyline a, a disservice, though, having her get that scroll immediately. <laughs> that feels kind of unfortunate. 
The master in episode two. That sucks. He didn't have to speed run Katara's water bending journey like that. Yeah, she only became a certified master after she went to the North Pole and trained with a master. She was already pretty skilled before that just because she has some innate talent. And she had a waterbending scroll. And the help of Aang, of course. Uh, I kind of wanted them to keep Sokka's uh, sexist mindset because him breaking the idea was amazing character development. Honestly, I actually agree with you. Because it's like... I think it was good for Sokka's character... To, to be that way, and then to show just how open-minded he is, that he broke from it immediately when that thought process was challenged. I thought that worked well for him, honestly. I wonder if we could use this thing for that. I don't think we could, because... Actually, maybe we could. Hold on. Oh my gosh! Wow! Did that work? I mean, it might work if I actually get it close enough. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Go down. Grab another one. Oh no! Wait, you still got it. We're good. Yeah, like just everyone just is missing their somewhat toxic ideals right out of the gate. Rather than having them develop through them. Like, I remember them saying they were going to get rid of it because they thought that it didn't fit in modern context, which, like, it didn't fit then just as much as it does now. It's like, it's not like people were rooting for Sokka being that way early on, in, like, the early 2000s. The point was that it was stupid then, too, so I, I don't know. I guess they just were worried about people, what, canceling them in the first episode? Because it'd be, like, by episode two that it would be dropped anyway. Oh my. Man, now I want to watch it just to see what they might screw up. <laughs> Wait, I can't leave. I still need to get one of that. They're still scared. Oh, that's weird. Well, wait, we can't leave yet. I didn't get the thing. Nah. I'll get on and then I'll immediately get off. Ah, uh, the old falling on top of each other and stuff. Seems unnecessary. You are safe. Good. Good Aw, there you go, Kratos. But they're girls, Good. but yeah. <laughs> you were almost there, he's trying. Kratos just can't open himself up to people that easily. Besties! That's a silver trophy right there. I spent so much time trying to get that second one that I completely forgot that there was a third one in there. If it's within my power, I will let no wolf suffer the same fate. Epic. And she sees all the showers. Hooray. <laughs> Fantastic. Seems like they're kind of really phoning it in right there. How the heck am I supposed to get that? There must be like a, a secret 
Well, no, actually, I know what I need to do. Just throw a grenade. Two of these have basically the same solution. Well, it's not exactly going to be an easy toss. Still made it. <laughs> Everything in the show is less mature than the original. Tragic. And I bet you anything they were probably thinking, let's make it more mature than the original. A fool's errand indeed, because I guess it would have backfired on them. You know, honestly, them... I'm, I'm assuming the whole event with the pirates doesn't happen. Otherwise, why give Katara the waterbending scroll early? Because the whole point of the pirates is that she stole the scroll. So I'm guessing them giving her the scroll early was a product of them cutting the pirates. But then why cut the pirates? What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? Aww. Okay, okay. Alright. Well, we're probably gonna have to stop soon. <laughs> Let's just try to get somewhat close to the Norns, I guess. I mean, he learns about it from Grand Grand just pouch for a bit. That's interesting. I mean, in the original, Grand Grand tells him that he thought that she heard that the you know, the airbenders were extinct. Her understanding was that they were extinct is what she told what she told him. He didn't believe it at first and just kind of shrugs it off. So I don't know how they handle it in the Netflix adaptation, but like she tells him point blank that the Fire Nation killed all of them? That's weird. Yeah, that's basically what she says in the the original, too. Just that nobody had seen an airbender in a hundred years and that she thought they were extinct was her exact words. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the original. I don't know what she says in the Netflix one, but that is what she says in the original. That, she th that no one had seen one in a hundred years was her words. Olives. Ah, olives, of course. <laughs> what? Mr. Man who knows everything doesn't know what an olive is. The strip says the Fire Nation wiped them out. Mm. I also love olives. Black olives especially. Very nice. Yeah, that feels unnecessary to have Grand Grand say that they wiped them out. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. Quiet. They're too Greek for him to know what an olive is. That'd be nice. No, I have not missed Midgard and Thimblewinter. Thank you. We will see soon enough. King's grave. Which king? Oh boy, A troll. It's actually an ogre. We don't fight the trolls in this. There was only one and we one shot it. Let's 
I need to eat olives more because I like them so much. I had not used that very often, but it's good. Builds up fire damage fast. Did you just slash at me like a wild animal? Hey, we're the one with the health bar here. This one's a snack a lot. I would if I thought to. I'm sure we've got some olives lying around. Fireworks. Fireworks. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab the heels. So close. Okay, we got bronze rushing chaos. Now it's time for the big guy. Oh man! <laughs> okay, thank you. Send him in. Now this is some real God of War stuff. Fear Soger. Like white olives, the pale round ones. Hmm. Something in here is giving it power. Around the Russian chaos. That's not like a band name. Hmm. You may. You touch it, and then you're transported. I know that sword Tread carefully. Lightsaber extends out of it. Ho ho ho. Yep. Just like the one Atreus has. Inert hilt of Skofnung. Mm, I can restore its power. Cool. Yeah, I didn't know there were white olives. I knew of black and green. I didn't even know about red. Cryptic. Get it? Oh, no. oh they're like light green, right? There's nothing here. Nice. So. <laughs> we'll have to see what else. Just a wall blocking <laughs> nothingness. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd like say we uh, faded to find like it. Like most of Dark Green. Hmm. Sidetracked. Yeah, I love action Avatar tonight a cup of tea, especially since the careers left production. Yeah, they said they left because of creative differences, and it's with the changes they've made, it seems like that would be potentially the case. There was a theory that they just said it was creative differences when really they left because of uh, Nickelodeon offering them their own studio. But it seems like that may have actually just been good timing <laughs> because with the differences that I've just been told of, I could definitely see them leaving the, the show. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. They did, they did leave very early in production, though. Although there was still, the scripting still existed at that point. 
Is that a frozen lightning bolt? You just That's noticed it? With Thor in the Going up into the cloud? That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like she doesn't suppress it very much, does she? But. Oh, I saw a chest in here. Oh no, a Draugr hole. <laughs> Don't want to be using my blades for that. Owie. Why do they feel the need to tell me? I get it, I'm on fire. Ice beam! Take it off, man. You've got that. I, I don't have this. And that killed me easily. Come down to half, though. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds weird. I definitely have to watch it now. <laughs> I mean, if I can sit through the Shyamalan Avatar, I can make it through the Netflix Avatar. Man, they're crazy strong. Trying to be cautious now. Oh, I can't beat him. Guess I gotta do it later. That'd be an amazing comparison review. Oh gosh, yeah. Probably. Oh, that seems like bad characterization for Azula. I mean, she does challenge Ozai's orders way later, but... <laughs> that was when she was nearing peak psychosis, so... <laughs> Have to watch it because of Iro and Zuko because they're actually perfect. Seems like they just expended all their effort on them then and just missed the mark on everyone else. It's like nobody expected them to follow the cartoon one to one because I mean it's like if you're doing an adaptation you want to do your own thing but it's like there's some things you don't want to change just because changing them ends up making it not work as good. She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. Oh, it's like, yeah, you can change things, but you just gotta more than I can repay. do so with discretion. Make when sure you know what you're doing. Of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Hmm. I've been going for three hours. Oh. 
Okay, mm -hmm. next next point with the wolves where they take us, we're gonna have to stop. I guess we don't have to stop, but we have to stop at some point as much as I'd like to keep playing. But yeah, exactly. The entire Infinity Saga, barely anything was like the comics, but it still worked this because the they area. managed to do their own thing with it in a way that was satisfying. I mean, it makes sense, because a lot of comics, especially early ones, were just flying by the seat of their pants week to week. Not they, Even they themselves not paying much attention to, you know, doing proper storylines, for the most part. So I guess it, it, it can especially fly with that. Yeah, I remember everyone seeing it in the trailer where it looked like Zuko was defending himself against Ozai, which kind of flies completely in the face of what happened in that scene. I guess it can still work if he doesn't directly fight back. If he fights back at all, the entire scene is screwed. Like, the entire point is completely destroyed. So that's that would be unfortunate. Because, like, the entire reason Ozai burned Zuko was because he wouldn't fight back. So if he does fight back, then that's not good. Nice. Nothing. Another dead end. Well, we find those norns next time, then. Anticlimactic note to leave it on, I know, but. <laughs> but Aaron Zuko's relationship is really well done, so hats off to them for that at least. That's something they dropped the ball on in the Shyamalan version, like they did with literally everything else. Alright, well, the hour is in, that's about a solid stream for me. A lot of cool stuff happened today. And we had all that stuff. We fought along Thor for a little bit. That was cool. And I'm already picking up on some tragic stuff with Thor here. I mean, he was having a good time. We actually... Atreus actually convinced him to have fun. He's like, you know what? That was fun. And then Odin immediately shoots him down for it. And was like, no, you have to be mean to him. You try being nice to him and see what happens. And, well, we did see what happened. And uh, he actually softened up a little bit. A little bit, but... <laughs> I don't like seeing Aang shoot guns in Fortnite. No, but who cares at this point? Goku shoots guns in Fortnite. Freaking everybody shoots guns in Fortnite. It stopped being jarring a long time ago. Uh, how do I feel about Heimdall? Heimdall... Well, he seems like a total jerkwad, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess I can't blame him too much because he didn't have all the information. All he saw was in Atreus' brain that he came there with some treacherous intentions. So of course, he's going to be hesitant, but I don't know. Which is weird seeing a Fortnite gun in Invincible Season 2. Yes, I noticed that. That was weird, but it was also hilarious. <laughs> Just that there was an, an off-screen part where he went to the freaking Fortnite dimension. You think you saw Goku while he was in there? Damn, if he did, he should have grabbed him and had him go through the portal to help him out. I guess it'd be Fortnite Goku and not normal Goku. He can still do the Kamehameha, though. Hit the Kanye Spider-Man. Yes. That was sad. But it's my personal headcanon that Agent Spider is still a Spider-Man. Just like in the Spider-Verse. Just not the normal Spider-Man. And at least Batman was there off screen. That's something. If he's Thor, he be playing Fortnite. Yep, that's true. He did. Yes, I heard about that. 
that he did meet the real Spider-Man in the comics, and you know they tried to negotiate the licensing deal, but I guess it just didn't pan out. But, I mean, they got real close. <laughs> he was very Spider-Man-like, so much so that I believe he's just a Spider-Man. He's not THE Spider-Man, but he's like a variant of him. <laughs> they totally wanted you to feel that way, I think, anyway. Yeah, I mean, he looks like a variant of Spider-Man. He doesn't look totally off. He looks like a Spider-Man. And I mean, if he's going across the multiverse anyway, what are the odds that he would see just a Spider-Man who looks like the normal Spider-Man? There's so many variations of him anyway. I think they did the best the, that they could with it. And it worked out. To me. If <laughs> Invincible makes a cameo in the next Spider-Verse movie. <laughs> that would be awesome. I don't expect it, but it'd be awesome. Well, next thumbnail. One thing for sure. Hone Edge will be in there. Gotta do that. Don't know what else I want to do. <laughs> Thor's wife. <laughs> yes, quite beautiful. Heimdall? Yeah, could do something with Heimdall. Don't know what. <laughs> but yeah, bye, I guess. Yeah. This is a bit of a longer stream, but I don't mind. I've been having fun. <laughs> eh. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Thor's wife, Heimdall. Uh, stream tomorrow next week, or stream tomorrow and weekend stream as well. So if, you, <laughs> if you're up for more Blenda and Fallout 4, we are going to have a Saturday stream this week. So keep that in mind. Be there? Awesome. Excitement. Yeah, something with Heimdall and Hone Edge. Heimdall would work. I think that would be a good idea with that. Maybe I'll look up one of the, the cutscenes and get a screenshot of him, I guess. That's about all I can think of. You know what I was doing during all this? I was downloading a bunch of videos. Because I got tired of uh, just having the same song play in the start and ending screens. Instead of having the random ones play. So I just downloaded a bunch and I'm going to reset up the the thing to to play them at random. <laughs> Two Heimdalls in the same thumbnail. <laughs> it's got a whole bunch of those uh C64 like a uh, load in music that they used for um uh, pirating software and stuff because it sound awesome <laughs> the creation of Adam picture but it's Heimdall's face plastered on both <laughs> uh, sure why not and then put a hone edge in there I think I know which one you're talking about yeah, there it is. <laughs> and hold in between with both reaching for it. Yep, that's a good idea. I'll do that. I'll save it right now. Yeah, hold is great. I like being able to <laughs> use it appropriately in a thumbnail. Gosh, I hope the resolution can fit. I'll find a way. 
Oh, well. Hey, good stream, good times. Only thing that I might not have liked was, uh, I feel bad. I wasn't trying. I hope I didn't make Daniel upset. I wasn't trying to, I swear. <laughs> I mean, he was calling us idiots, I guess, so. I guess it wasn't unwarranted, but. <laughs> I don't like to say mean things. But apart from that, uh, solid stream. Good times with good friends. <laughs> but I still appreciate it, yeah. Uh, great stream, love to play through in the chatter. Well, thank you. Glad you enjoy it. Definitely. But hey, tomorrow, we head back in. We play some more. It'll be great. I spent the majority of the stream without headphones because I was stupid and didn't charge the headphone case. <laughs> I'll 1v1 them in Smash Bros. I'll take them down. I believe it. So, yep, thanks, guys. Hope you had fun. It's been great. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., the usual, we round back up and see if we can find those Norns. It'll be awesome. <laughs> but hey, to meet again. I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. Later. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. I had to turn up the desktop audio all the way to max, too, just so you guys could hear it. I hope the mixing was okay. I have no way of knowing. <laughs> oh, well. Catch you guys on the flip side. Shia. And next stream, we're not going to have to deal with this this same song. It's been too long. Because <laughs> I didn't reset up the thing. Oh, it's probably really loud. Actually, it's probably not just because of the way it mixed out. Sounded good? Well, good. I'm glad it worked out. Excelsior! I wonder how many I have. Uh, 112, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, I just grabbed a playlist that had some good ones in it. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was so many when I picked it. <laughs> nah. I didn't, like, curate them. I just picked one. I was like, oh, there's a bunch of good ones in here. Oh, and by the way, expect that Budokai Tenkaichi 3 video out by tomorrow. I'll be editing that one tonight when I wake up. <laughs> Mash them up and mix them. <laughs> I'll take your entire stuff. 